My name is Mike Pavronis, and today I'm making kugelis, which is a, a Lithuanian potato dish, very traditional. And I'm with the Lithuanian Heritage Club of Rumford, Maine. And uh, um, the first step we're going to do is grate some potatoes. Grate them by hand, very important. to use large yellow potatoes that are just a little older. Somehow that makes it taste a little better. And I leave the skins on. Some people will, some people won't, but I like to use the whole potato. I'm using about five medium-sized potatoes. To really muscle it in. There's a lot of starch in there which will rinse out a little bit to use all the potato. And making sure that all the moisture is out of those potatoes. Not all of it, but it takes away a lot of the starch, which we don't want in there. So it's just really to get that moisture out of there. So we have more of a dry, dry potato grate. What I'm doing now is frying up some bacon. I'm going to use the grease as well as the bacon. And I like to cut it into small cubes and fry it up till it's nice and crispy. And it's a very important part of the kugelis is bacon. That onion really adds to the, the overall taste of the dish. And you mix it all up. Give it some salt. Just use kosher salt. A couple good pinches. And I'm going to add five eggs to the mixture. Whole eggs, you don't need to beat them. Okay, so now after I've got my potato mixture with the eggs in it, uh, I'm going to take the bacon off the stove and put everything in there, including all the good baking grease. Get every last bit of it. Then we're going to add four ounces of evaporated milk. together once again. And we're going to empty it into this greased pan. It's ceramics. Uh, that's what I like to use. It's not what our forefathers used, but. And then it's already been greased and pour the whole mixture right in there. And we're just going to even that, that all out. It's going to be pretty liquidy on the bottom. I'm going to add some black pepper to it to top it off with that. And another pinch of salt right on top. And it's ready for the oven. <laughs> 